Welcome back to Sporns Bro. In this video, I'm going to teach you how to grow Lion's Mane Mushroom. Lion's Mane is a popular edible mushroom used as a replacement for crab meat. It is also used for its medicinal benefits that help prevent Alzheimer's and dementia by promoting nerve growth factor in the brain. The first step in the process to grow lion's mane mushroom is to create your own grain spawn. For this video I'm going to be using field rye and I'm going to make one 3 pound bag so I'm going to use about 5 cups. You will need to rinse the grains and then soak them overnight. After the grains are done soaking, the next step is to dump them into a pot of boiling water. Next step is to turn off the heat to the stove and then allow the grains to soak in the hot water for about 20 minutes until they are nice and plump but not burst open. After about 20 minutes, the grains should be fully hydrated and ready to be strained and then laid out on a flat surface to dry for about a half an hour. After about 30 minutes, the grain should be dry enough to load into your spawn bag. The next step is to sterilize your grain spawn in a pressure cooker at 15 psi for two and a half hours.
After the grain spawn has been sterilized, you should use an impulse sealer to seal the bag. Next, you can use Red Gasket Maker or RTV silicone to create a self-healing injection port. Just make sure after it dries you put a piece of tape over it or else it will just fall off. Now that you have created your own grain spawn, it is time to inoculate it with Lion's Mane Liquid Culture. You can find these syringes on my website sporeandsprout.com. This part should be done as sterile as possible, preferably in front of a laminar flow hood or inside of a still air box. Inject two to four milliliters of the liquid culture syringe into the grain bag. The grain spawn should now be placed in a dark, warm area to incubate for up to two weeks. After about four to five days, you should start to see the mycelium growing on the grain. It's at this point where you can shake your bag to evenly disperse the myceliated grain to speed up the process. Once your grain spawn has been incubating for about two weeks, it should be close to fully colonized. So now we are going to make our own mushroom substrate. The recipe I am using is 5 cups of hardwood fuel pellets, 1 cup of wheat bran, and 5.5 and cups of warm water.
The next step is to pressure cook this substrate at 15 PSI for two and a half hours. One three pound bag of grain spawn is usually good enough to spawn about four of these substrates. After your substrate has cooled down and your grain spawn is fully colonized, it's time to spawn your substrate. After you have mixed the spawn in with the substrate, you can now use the impulse sealer to seal the bag and then incubate the substrate for around two weeks until it is fully colonized. You will have to pay close attention because Lion's Mane likes to prematurely pin inside of the bag. So what I like to do is I'll just cut little holes where I see the primordial growth and then the Lion's Mane will grow from that hole. And that's all there is to it. I hope this video was helpful. If you have any questions, go ahead and leave a comment down below and don't forget to subscribe for more videos just like this one.